Wait. Let's do a Dante's Inferno, nigga. Let's <laughs> let's take it there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a new weekly segment on the podcast called Dante's Inferno. My boy Dante goes and finds some of the wackiest, weirdest, funniest, whatever the fuck, randomness that the world has to offer, brings it to the podcast, and then we will discuss it here right now. Yeah. So. All right. What do you got this week? So we're talking about, you know, people just doing dumb stuff, and we want to... <laughs> <laughs> we we, we, we want to highlight it and you know we we want to make sure the viewers at home that do not attempt this at home because you can hurt oh yourself. this guy's going wrestling with it okay fair <laughs> ladies and gentlemen the, the what you are about to see is done by trained professionals or idiots do not try this at home unless this not you are willing to get hurt mentally physically emotionally scarred um so this video that i want to show you is about a guy that leaned into the whole maga you know, make America great again, influencer type okay. streamer thing. Yeah, dude. So he. Yo, this country, bro. <laughs> Try to save it, man. So he basically like was doing like a live stream and he realized that he like messed up his future career options. Let me just pull this up real quick. And he's just, you know, having a little moment about it on stream. Okay, wait, what is it? Wait, wait, pause it for a second. Yeah. Let me let me read this uh, caption. Just scroll up. Okay, MAGA. Oh my God, MAGA Nazi just realized that being a Nazi ruined his future career options. In quotes, it says, "I can never do anything else again." I decided to say the N word. I decided to say I love Hitler, and now I'm here. That is amazing. First of all, so we're about to watch the real time breakdown. Is what you're telling me? So I should turn this up. Yeah, I should turn this up. Right. <laughs> we're about to have some real breakdown. So I should make turn it full this screen up. for me. Yeah, make make this full screen for me, please. <sighs> this is so. This is a white man. I am, you know. I mean, nigga. You know what I mean? Like when you fucking look up this shit, when you look up my fucking name, you know what comes up? Like, bro. Yo, he just dropped that. Like I say, nigga, to you all the time, bro. <laughs> For yourself from your chains, nigga. That, yo, look at these comment sections. So, what exactly is this guy? Who is this guy? Okay, pauses. I don't really need to hear this shit. Um, so what's the full breakdown on this guy? What the fuck does he do? So he's just like a an influencer guy, right? And he would just pull up, you know articles the government's doing this da, 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 and you know white power whatever he was praising the nazis I, I i don't know the full story i just like the fact that he realizes actions have consequences because now he's like oh well now i actually can't work anywhere because he got famous hating people is that what he did yeah but did he get famous from the insurrection bullshit did he storm the capital no it's not even that but he's just like an influencer guy so He's he an just, actual influencer? People follow this guy? This is his live stream. Uh, so traditional like, Catholics and white nationalists called Tim Clodfelter. Um, Kanye West inspired his nah, harassment. Um, is Dalton Clodfelter the next Nick Fuentes? Hitler Youth. You can tell just by the voice. This guy really... You know what's you know what's fucking wild about people like this? You, you can stop it. It's it's horse shit. I just want to play this one part where he's like, I I I I I I do this, but if it wasn't for you guys, I don't know what the fuck I do, man. I really have no idea. Who his audience? I really have no idea. So he's saying he was doing it for the clout because what ended up what ended up happening is the more he did it, the more popular he got. Yeah. So he's like, let me just keep doing this. So he's blaming clout for his yeah, because desire he, for more clout? That's what he's saying, but he also said he chose to do it. Yeah. He wouldn't have done it if he wasn't getting the clout for doing it in the first place. You get what I'm saying? So because his, instead of... So he's just deflecting, like no, he's he, he's deferring all uh, accountability, no, no, essentially, no, he started off by to saying, the movement. No, no, no. I, I accidentally skipped it, but he says he chose to do this. But if he wasn't doing it, yeah, then he doesn't know. He probably would have been doing something less stupid. <laughs> yeah, probably something productive. Or who knows? I don't know. This guy's got Conan O'Brien shit on the back of his shelf. Like, I love Conan O'Brien. Oh, wait. No, that's not Conan O'Brien stuff. That's Donald Trump stuff. <laughs> Yo, that MAGA hat looks like that. Co Yo, that looks like a Conan O'Brien mug. 
<laughs> and Conan O'Brien bobblehead next to that mug, but that is a Trump bobblehead. Yeah. No, this guy wouldn't be doing anything productive. What are you talking about? And you can tell by the shake voice. Anybody like this, bro, I swear I have a th like these dudes beat off to black women porn. Like for <laughs> sure, bro. Yeah. For sure, this guy's into big butts. Like his whole search history is just just I just, no, turn it to, I don't even, we don't need to fucking, I just don't understand though. Okay, why'd you close it though? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? You fucked up. I'll pull it back up, hold on. You can keep talking now. Eh, whatever. That was, that was weird. Bring better shit to Dante's Inferno. I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll bring more I'm heat. gonna challenge you to bring something heftier. Hefty. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> I don't What? Why would I choose that word of all words? <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking proud, boys. Um, because I get it. I know we're trying to highlight the absurdity of fucking of what's clout going chasing, on, bro. But that to me, that's not even clout chasing. That's just. I don't know. I guess no, it is clout it chasing is clout in a sense. Because he, you get he got more popular by doing it. This is the thing. It's like. You gain a fan base by doing these kind of things, so now yeah. you're incentivized to do more of these things. And now the only way to gate and get—I mean, more I know, but this is a known thing already. I'm saying that really wasn't exciting. That fucking that article was. <laughs> bring oh, me something this... fucking. Bring me some fucking explosions, nigga. I got explosions. You brought me a white boy saying the n word. That is nothing new. That is. <laughs> I just got to bring me something controversial. He's like, so I have this white guy. He's into Trump and, wait, get this. He says nigger. I'm like, oh my God. Stop the fucking presses, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'll bring some more heat. I'm challenging you to bring me uh, a real black white supremacist. Like that Chappelle sketch. Okay. But find the real guy. Find the real guy. Find the real <laughs> guy in today's times. Who's that guy? That, um, I think Joe Rogan had him on his podcast. That's two yeah, weeks. Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a what a just a twist of the knife on that. Um, no, this black guy who would go Girl and Davis, talk. I know who you're talking about. I hate you so much, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? You really just did that to me, eh? That's hilarious. Good for you, though. Wow, you casually just went, I actually know who you're talking about, uneducated swine. You <laughs> would go and talk to the KKK The KKK people, people, people and, like, drop their shit. convert some of them, like, back to being non-racist and shit? Yeah. I'm like... And then they would give him their robe. I'm pretty sure the FBI and shit, like, are afraid of people like that, mostly, because they know that to actually... Yo, to change anybody's heart, you just got to show them you're a human being, which means you got to step into the belt, which, like, takes a lot of dignity, man. What's that thing? Um, like, that 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 black guy, who's what's his name again? Daryl Davis? He's, ultimately, what he's doing is, is, like, how do I phrase this? He, he like, recognizes the trauma that exists. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And when you remove yourself... Or when you heal your own trauma, you're able to look at the great, like the greater picture of everything. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like he's able, he's able to remove himself from the whole slavery context, yeah, and just go into the fucking walk into fire, yeah, and give them a hug. But he's water, and they're covered in flames, and they don't realize that they're all covered in flames, and you know he's dousing them. Yeah, I. I'm striking this from the record. Uh, we're not about spreading positivity and unity and humanity here at the podcast. Please continue to watch memes and live your degenerative life. Don't read books, uh, pornography all day, drink, <laughs> and take prescription drugs. Uh, I'm not condoning this message, me, so you can't sue me. I'm just saying if this is the life that you like to live, don't let me judge you or stop you. Do your thing. I'm not Martin Luther King. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> <laughs>What's up, beautiful people? Thank you for watching this. If you like that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button. We got new podcast episodes every Wednesday, comedy clips and segment clips throughout the week. Follow me. I'm AKA Black Zeus on all social media. Dante is person one prod. 
And, uh, you know, stay beautiful. Peace, peace.